Hi, my name is Serena Lee, and this is Playing the Mountain, and it is curated by the wonderful Leslie Loxie Chan. I'm standing here in front of a collection of kites that you can borrow uh, as a kite library. Playing the Mountain comes from some inquiry into forms of balance. So I think of it as a constellation of different models of balance. I was interested in the, the ways that balance can be composed and balance can be um, uncomposed um, by different forces acting upon it. Playing with the idea of balance more and more, I was gathering uh, video fragments collected from conversations with different folks, particularly around writing in Chinese, a set of uh, words that don't really have any relation to each other, except that they share um, what's called a radical, so it's an element of the word that has to do with um, underground networks of streams. So this idea of the movement of water that we can't necessarily see. So then as I was playing with balance in the graphic composition of Chinese characters and in the composition, let's say, of kites in terms of how it balances as a shape uh, in relation to the wind and in relation to the tension with the string and you as the kite flyer. I was thinking about uh, these interplay of elements and interplay of forces and this really brought me to this news broadcast that I heard uh, earlier this year about um, the discovery of a new network or family of uh, sinkhole forest mountains that are in um, sort of southwest China. And so I was thinking about the kind of processes that would cause a mountain to sink and collapse into itself and for the forest to survive and the sort of ecosystem that would persist um, in the sinkhole forest after it had collapsed. These two installations are also part of this constellation. What I really enjoyed working with Leslie on is also to compose the space as a sort of positive and negative experience, what is visible, what is not visible, the negative space around things, and especially because uh, in the video, you can hear my grandfather describing sort of his personal etymology of the word for music in Chinese, and he's really referring to um, qualities of music that can't be, what he says is it can't be too bright in a way, it can't be too much sound, so a lot of it for me is playing with um, these elements in such a way that I am looking to the reverse, I'm looking to the negative. A lot of these forces I've been tracing through internal martial arts practices where a lot of the language would ask you to sort of embody the uprightness and the solidness of mountain, and then you have the sinking quality, but also fluid quality of river. A really interesting thing for me in the process of doing this was, of course, to um, involve other people, involve friends, involve family, to write this set of words in whatever order and whatever pace. This one friend of mine whom I asked um, started to speak the words in Korean, which I was just a beautiful surprise to me because it was um, another dimension of the way these words have traveled and the way language has traveled. So I really enjoyed making this sculpture, which, you know, I had no idea what it would look like before I came to the space. So it's also playing with this element of um, non-intention and spontaneity. These are sort of central things. Uh, that you come back to, you know, with Tai Chi Chuan practice, with internal martial arts practice, but it's also just something that um, you see as a current uh, in a lot of these embodied practices. These were kind of all coiled up so that I could put them in my suitcase and come to Hamilton. Uh, and so when I got to the space, it was, it was almost like allowing them to spring open and sort of capture whatever shape they wanted to form in that action of springing apart and springing open. That's also been a really nice way to be in the space and not think of space as something that you fill. It's kind of like carving out a sort of movement that is neither presence nor absence. Balance is something that's not um, a final state. Uh, so that is really the core of what I was interested in. And then it sort of branched out into these different forms uh, as this constellation. So I'm Serena Lee, and this was Playing the Mountain.